do Milan guys if you just stepped into my channel for the first time please don't forget to click that subscribe button the red button right below you <laughs> right below the screen and don't forget to click that like like button <laughs> anyway so today's topic I'm coming to you with how I met my husband video it's been 12 years now we've known each other for 12 beautiful years and that relationship has produced a baby and a marriage Okay, so I'm gonna tell you how I met my husband. This is how I met my husband. Mind you, he tells the story quite differently to uh, what, <laughs> what I have to say there. And since he won't come here <laughs> to tell his side of the story, you'll have to take my word for it. So this is how we met that. We met in 2005 in chemistry one. So yeah, in South Africa normally university starts in uh, February. So we met first week of February uh, in university, uh, University of Johannesburg. It was named University of Johannesburg by 2005. And um, yeah, in chemistry one. Eh? So the first day I saw him, he was walking into the, uh, the chemistry class and we had one of those giant lecture halls uh, where the seats sit ascending and I used to sit right at the front. So since he was late for the very first lecture of the year, he had to walk, he had to sit in the front because, uh, you know, he didn't want to cause a ruckus walking all the way to the back. So he came in. Uh, at one of the doors at the bottom then he came and sat behind me and uh, uh, I had already made well had a bit of a conversation with one of uh, the guys uh, from his rest because he stayed he stayed, uh, he stayed in rest then and I, I was still not in rest then but yeah he was in rest he stayed in the Opelix that's the name of his rest so he came and sat behind me and uh, Chemistry was normally a two hour lecture lesson, so they used to give uh, 15 minutes breaks. I don't know if they do that now, so it was mostly for people who smoked, so they could get their 15 minutes to get the Jones and Don, you know, type thing. Anyway, so during the 15 minute break thing, I, I talked to him and his friend. From uh, Opelif and I, I was telling him that I'm looking for a place uh, to live that's nearer to campus because then I still stayed in town and with my uh, schedule and class loads I, I had some of some lessons that way that um, would end very late like at half past seven at night so that wasn't really ideal for me. I didn't want to be catching a text or a bus to go downtown to go to my place because I didn't feel safe. Anyway, that's besides the story. I have another story time that I can tell you about <laughs> moving closer to, to campus that was very sketchy. But anyway, so today's story is about how I'm ah! Give me a sec. Anyway, give me a sec. I'll be back, guys. Okay. okay. I had to angle the camera differently because my baby wants to sit down with me. Anyway, so yeah, I met my husband uh, in early February uh, in chemistry one uh, A. So he walked in late, and during the 15-minute break, we had a chat, and I was telling him, asking him if he knew of anybody or whatever, looking for a roommate or something like that. Uh, then we. Uh, we got chatting and he said he asked me so if I help you find a place what what will you get me <laughs> and, my, and I'm like I don't know we'll see so uh, the next lesson it was almost Valentine's Day and he asked me no actually I asked him and I said to him so what are you gonna get me for Valentine's Day <laughs> if I get you something for helping me out and he's like no. <laughs> I don't know he liked it to buy you anything. It's like oh, oh, oh what do you want for Valentine's Day? And, um uh, and then I said, No, I want the Yogeta. I don't know if you guys know those uh 
stock sweets, uh, the lollipops called you get it. I said to him, they were very popular then, so I, <laughs> I said, well, I'll take you get <laughs> This is so lame. <laughs> So basically that's how it started and one of the days during lunch I was with my friends in um, student center that's the little uh, little mini shopping center there where you get your lunches and there's some bookshops and stuff like that so I was in B sport lo and behold this my potential future husband there with his friend and they're buying lunch and I'm buying lunch and I'm getting myself ice cream so he's like uh, so uh, <laughs> how about you buying me ice cream <laughs> and I bought him ice cream by then we had uh, exchanged uh, numbers and yeah no no yes we had ex mm, now I forgot Exchange numbers earlier than the donor. Hmm. I'm kind of lost. Okay, fine. Let's just take it by the uh, bottom ice cream, and that was there. So the next time I saw him, all this happened within a week. I went to um to the bank and the student center again. I bumped into him. Uh, I was going to, to the bank and he was coming, I don't know, was he coming from the bank too? And uh, he was like, oh, uh, what are you doing today? I'm like, oh, I'm moving. So I'm telling him that I'm moving and I found a place. He didn't help me out, by the way. So I'm telling him, oh, I'm moving. I found a place closer to, to campus. He's like, oh, okay. And we started talking there. I got money from the from the machine, the ATM, and I was gonna go catch a taxi to go back downtown to get my stuff so I can move closer. And he walked me to the main gate on uh, Kingsway. So we talked and talked, and when we were saying goodbye, we had goodbye, and when he had me, he squeezed my butt, and I was oh my gosh, how could this guy squeeze my butt? <laughs> like he's so presumptuous that I'm the type of girl that you can squeeze the butt and be like anyway so it was pretty uh, funny when that night we were chatting via mix it then mix it was the thing it was the thing wasn't what's up was not that big yet so we were chatting uh, using mix it and SMS's and I was telling him how my whole life fit in two bags and that is, it was pretty funny and stuff so that's how we got close and yeah I moved closer to campus which meant that because I lived closer to campus we became close and then from then on yeah we were technically a couple that wasn't confirmed to be a couple and yeah I feel like I missed a ton of stuff but basically me and my husband met in chemistry one so the thing that we always say to people is that uh, we will always have chemistry that's the other thing we say we say to each other we will always chemi have chemistry because you know when the people click so good people say they have chemistry i don't know if you guys get the part so yeah me and my husband will always have chemistry and it's been a long 10 years uh if you want to know how long we've been married we've been married for about uh five years now we got married in 2012 yes 2012 so it's been five oh my god we married that long. <laughs> this is so crazy. Yeah. So me and my husband will always have chemistry. 
Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, if you were just popping in into my channel for the first time today, don't forget to click that subscribe button below, the red button, please click it. And don't forget to like, 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 like. I'll see you in the next video on Saturday. And that video will be a vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. 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 Say goodbye.